morning everybody I promised a guy on Facebook yesterday that I would make a video um, adjusting the OCVs on your Lincoln SA200 uh, first things first the tools you'll need are a 7 16 wrench and a 3 8 wrench there and a multimeter the adjustment that you're looking for this bolt and nut here and the way you're going to test it is you'll take your multimeter and you'll put the probes into your outlet and you'll also draw a reading across the across the lugs now when you're drawing a reading across the lugs you want to make sure that your fine adjust is at 100 which mine is I've always been told to put it in third range I have a five five range selector so third range is where I want it to be um, now when I start it up you won't be able to hear me that's why I've explained everything that I'm gonna do and to adjust it what I've got to do is back that lock nut off and then adjust it one way or the other now I fired it up this morning and when I, I guess when I was checking the wrench sizes to make sure I moved it and just a little bit can make a lot uh, I usually have mine set at 96. Um, I was told that that's too much, so I was going to back it off a little bit. Well, this morning when I jiggled it, I went over there and looked, and I was at 106. So we're definitely going to bring that down. Uh, also, some people think, yeah, you like that, don't you? Uh, <laughs> think that you can adjust it here, which you can, but you will get it way out of whack exceedingly fast. So it's better to do it down here because little bits are little bits so here we go I'm gonna fire it up and go ahead and start making my adjustments so you can see how it's done
kept going back and forth and I could have just shut off at the first one, uh, but I wanted you to see that it can be kind of tedious and take a little while. Um, like I said, I don't know if you guys could hear me when I was talking on the video, but when it's down at, I, I think it was 88.3, 88.9, somewhere in there. Um, I'm gonna go in the shop later on, burn a few rods, see if I like it. If I don't like it, then I'll turn it back up a little bit. Uh, if I do like it, then I'll leave it where it's at. Uh, at any rate, you wanna make sure that when you come in here and you're done, you lock that nut back down. And also it's, it's kind of a pain to get it. That's why I kept fumbling because the, the machine vibrates so much that your, your wrench keeps vibrating off the, uh, off the adjustment. Uh, again, it's not, not anything too technical, but needs to be done, especially on my machine because my machine is old and raggedy, so I have to check it occasionally. Uh, at any rate, there you go. Hope you learned something.